Hi there, I'm Dawn Monroe, and today I want to talk to you about the different versions of Microsoft OneNote. OneNote is a digital notebook. Think of it like uh, having a three ring binder, and you had those sections dividing it up, and then you'd have different pages within a section. That's exactly what we've got here in a digital form and part of the Microsoft 365 suite of products. So OneNote's been around for a while, but it seems like it's getting more popular right now because of the different integrations with the other softwares. So here, um, one of the things I wanna clear up first is the different versions of OneNote. This is confusing. So right now I'm in my favorite version of OneNote. This is OneNote that is downloaded to my desktop. It's the full version and I can uh, access my different notebook folders and files and, um, and do any kind of adding and um, uh, manipulation that I wanna do. OneNote is also great for sharing, but here's where people get confused. There is also a OneNote for Windows 10. I'm gonna just drag this down. Do you see how it looks a little different? So here we have the title of the different notebook. Here we have title of the notebook here. And then you have different sections listed in a column in this version. In this version, it's listed in tabs across the top. And then here the individual pages are listed. In the desktop version, they're listed out here. Now to make that more confusing, let's say you logged into OneNote on your 365 account on the internet. And so here you have OneNote in a tab in a internet browser. Here I'm using Chrome. And what you'll see is there's the name of the notebook and the different sections and the, um, the titles of the pages. This is acting a lot more like the version we see in the Windows 10. And goodness sakes, if you get onto OneNote on your phone or on a tablet like an iPad, then you've got even more variations. So just be patient with yourself. You can bounce around from whatever version you like. When you're sharing with others, that's fine. They can use the version they like on their end. Let me just show you a few things. So if you wanted to make a new notebook, you could um, make uh, find more notebooks and you can create and add a new notebook at the bottom of this list. Once you're in a notebook, you can continue adding more sections. Uh, sample, sample section. And let, think of that like the divider with the pages. And then within those, you, as you title them, my title, you'll see that it populates the title of the page. And you can add as many pages as you want. Now the reason I really like that desktop version the most is because I really like all the options I have on the ribbon and I have some really fun tools that I will uh, show you here. On the insert tab, you have all kinds of things. You can insert files, printouts of files, screen captures, pictures. And what's great about this, as you start typing and you put content into a notebook, this works that you can move it freely. I really just like that. You can just uh, add to this, you know, in Word, as you start typing or in your Google Docs, as you're typing, you go one line at a time and then you're adding new lines as you go. Here it's free form. You can click and add things in. Let's just add a picture um, from, we'll just do one quick from a file. Let's 
go into the flowers and add a flower here. And so again, that becomes something that we can move around and adjust how we want to see this. Now, one of my very favorite things in OneNote is that you can connect OneNote over to your Teams account. So think about creating this notebook where all of my people in the team are able to add things and brainstorm and keep a list and do all the things inside here. So I've got Teams. This is a new version of the Teams that's uh, loaded on my computer this last week. And so this is what it looks like you'll see that I have actually pinned OneNote over here on the left of my team. So that's one thing really nice. I've also used the plus sign at the top and clicked. And one of the things that you can add in here is connecting a singular OneNote notebook right into your team so everybody can see it and work on it. Just make sure that you've got the access, the permissions all set up, not only in the team, but also in the notebook. Try to make that easy on yourself. But uh, from within the team, this is great. It's embedded right in here. I can jump to this or jump to the files or jump to the posts and do the different things. I want to open another notebook, I can do it here. So that is a great usage of it. I also really, really like, there's a feature where you can connect a meeting. And this is in Outlook. In Outlook, let's say I'm going to have a meeting and I want to send this meeting and connect this meeting over to a OneNote notebook share the notes with the meeting. So I'm in a calendar appointment here is what I'm doing. I'm connecting this over. Maybe I need to take minutes, take attendance, any of that. Share notes with the meeting. And here it is giving me a bunch of my notebooks. Oh, I have so many. Here's training demo. That's I think the one we're playing today's and okay. Let's go out and see what happens there. You see how it adds a link, view shared notes? Well, I can click this and it will jump me over to the OneNote I've connected with. And here it actually put a little block in there with who's attending the meeting and I can actually take attendance during the meeting and uh, check those and select them and I can type minutes and notes that I need to in here when I'm um, actively using the notebook. So think about integrating all of these things together. The meetings from Outlook over to the OneNote notebooks into the team environment. You've got a lot happening here, but I think you'll really like this. I hope you give OneNote a try and let me know what questions you run into. I'm happy to answer them. Hey, be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.